hello everyone uh, so i am duminder from sri lanka currently a doctoral student at the university of tokyo japan so i am going to uh, give a short summary of our research on uh, whole genome sequencing of uh, resource dolphin this is the outline of my presentation so i will talk uh, one by one and actually up to now uh, hundreds of animal species have been sequenced in genomic level uh, mainly for evolutionary studies like uh, to reconstruct the evolutionary tree or maybe uh, to understand the evolutionary process or maybe uh, to identify the phylogenetic relationship like that Uh, another aspect of animal genomics is uh, mainly focusing the farm animals uh, for the uh, food production for human consumption and recently developing field is looking for new genes and biomarkers uh, using animal genomes so it's also helpful for the uh, another sector like human medicine so with this development actually uh, technology also advanced from the beginning of like uh, dna cloning in 19 Uh, 70 and then uh, the pcr based uh, sequencing uh, amplification uh, and sequencing by sanger method and after uh, human genome project actually the ngs technology uh, becoming a vast area actually uh, with uh, adapting with uh, new concepts like a short read sequence long read sequence so ngs is uh, becoming uh, a vast field so for this development actually the bioinformatics uh, played a major role for the development of the ngs technologies uh, by assembling and annotation tools introducing uh, comparative gen- genomics tools so in this uh, development actually another field was developed the marine genomics uh, so it's mainly focusing uh, marine animals so according to the recent publication uh, in this pie chart uh, number of species in the marine ecosystem uh, has been uh, updated like around uh, 200000 uh, accepted species uh, but comparatively the very low number of animal genomes uh, identified from the marine ecosystem it's around 400 species 490 species so uh, the large animals in the marine ecosystem like uh, marine mammals uh, are mostly most of them are endangered and extinct uh, vulnerable to extinction so this uh, focusing these uh, large animals and uh, preserv- preservation of their genetic resources an important uh, concept so this uh, identification of this uh, Uh, whole genome may be uh, helpful for the conservation and take decision on the animals so uh, human base uh, the major threat on the marine ecosystem is the fishery and uh, fishery uh, has been uh, uh, reducing the number of animals in the marine ecosystem for a longer period of time so uh, with the, with the current uh, technologies actually the dna based technologies uh, can be reliably used for the stock assessment and ma- management processes so with this understanding actually uh, we were looking for uh, cetacean samples in the japanese uh, fishery so we could uh, uh, re- we received actually uh, sample of resource dolphin uh, captured in fishery in japan so resource dolphin actually is a beautiful creature it's a cosmopolitan species and you can find actually in any seas temperate or tropical so according to iucn um, it's a least concern species and comes under cites appendix 2 uh, still allowed for the usage locally and nationally but prohibited in internationally so we isolated uh, dna from this uh, sample and prepared two libraries uh, for the illumina sequencing and nanopo sequencing for the illumina library preparation we use qgen kit for the dna extraction and nestela uh, library preparation kit and sequencing was done at the macrogen japan using a hisec 10 uh, sequencer and for the nanopo uh, library preparation we use a high molecular dna extraction kit and we remove the short fragments uh, and 
uh, we according to the nanopore guidelines we prepared the library at the laboratory and also sequencing was done at the laboratory using mini ion sequencer so then Illumina data actually the raw data were used for the Dino assembly using CLC workbench and Bosco analysis also completed and Nanopo uh, data actually we produced at the laboratory and we observed the scaffold level the long reads uh, real time so that's the advantage of the uh, sequence uh, and mini on sequencer so this uh, data was proceed, uh, proceed in five step process of the Nanopo software the Mino uh, online software and data the final report also obtained from this and finally we uh, assemble both uh, draft genomes uh, using the LRSCAF uh, the recently published uh, software so it's actually a two-step process because we use the draft genome from Illumina and mapping to uh, we use the Minimap uh, 2 uh, software for the assembly and also improve the uh, quality of the assembly by LRSCAF. So those are the algorithms in the left side and actually we changed the parameters for a thousand times and thousand analysis was done using the grid gen, grid gen technology. So when it comes to the results actually these are some screenshots of the uh, real-time data visualization of the uh, mini ion uh, sequencer and in the first run actually 7.5 GB we received uh, the throughput and uh, again we uh, conducted two further runs using uh, the same cell actually because there is an option for the washing of the same cell and we conducted two times and finally received around 16 GB uh, throughput. So when compared to the uh, final uh, assembly statistics with the first uh, Illumina draft genome and the hybrid genome, so actually the hybrid uh, genome was advanced with the nanopore data. So you can see the N50 is a sevenfold increase and the bus score also increase uh, the complete bus scores also increase into the uh, 78% so those are the final statistics and the final size of the genome also increased to the uh, 2.6 uh, GB so with this results actually we can uh, recommend this uh, the hybrid assembly was success with the long rig technologies and this may be the long, uh, the first uh, long read genome for the resource dolphin. However, uh, the la large genome assembly, uh, the hybrid assembly is uh, still a uh, challenging and still developing with uh, new uh, bioinformatics tools. So we will conduct the further analysis to identify the importance of this genome and it will also use for the other studies like uh, to uh, identify gene environment interaction or maybe for the inbreeding analysis and adaptations for the future protection of this animal. So finally I would like to conclude uh, with uh, uh, approximately 78 percent of uh, bus course was revealed for this uh, genome with the help of uh, nanopore technology and uh, we would like to recommend uh, further analysis of uh, further identification of uh, genomes of cetaceans using the long read sequence and uh, this data will be used for the future protections and as a take home message i would like to say the osport nanopore uh, mini ion system is uh, an easy and convenient tool for fisheries monitoring stock assessment and management so based on our study uh, and our experience actually we would like to recommend this uh, technology as uh, supportive for the beginners and our lab is actually uh, not only the research and because uh, teaching and research both uh, carry on so it's a convenient tool for the teaching for uh, actually for uh, beginners and students 
and it's a hard use and short time preparation for all the protocols and trustworthy and supportive and cooperate system so finally i would like to thank uh, our lab members for supporting this project and uh, fishermen for providing the sample and nanopod committee accepting our abstract and giving a chance for presenting this in this uh, committee meeting so thank you